Hey everybody, this is Cake.ABI with a few BF4 beta highlights. We're going to take a look at the new elevator system and how you can use it to your advantage, as well as some of my more spectacular failures. And then at the end there's a bit of discussion about the differences between BF3 and BF4. So, without further ado, let's check out some Battlefield. And because defending is important too. You got it. And one more time because I like that elevator so much. Now, as much as I might know about clearing elevators, I find helicopters to be confusing and scary. Even when I'm the only one in the chopper, they seem to be no more fond of me than I am of them. Overall, I had a lot of fun with the BF4 beta, and I'll definitely be playing the game as soon as it goes live. It feels like less has changed from Battlefield 3 to Battlefield 4 than we had in previous numbered iterations in the series, but given the amount of time between 3 and 4, I don't think that's unexpected. Most of the changes they've made are pretty smart, even if they are largely iterations or extensions on concepts we already had in BF3. Being able to see through your teammates' eyes before you spawn on them is super helpful and a really good idea, and adding elevators allows for more vertical map design in some really interesting situations that you would never have seen in BF3. If the design of the other maps is up to the standard set by Siege of Shanghai, then DICE has some really solid value to offer in BF4. However, if you still feel like there's life in BF3's maps for you, then you might want to wait for a sale. I, however, will be diving right in on launch day, so you can expect some new BF4 content coming soon.